most uh, images, GIF images, are turned into a series of still images that you then have to open as a series of still images in Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. And once you open them in Elements, then you've got to move them one by one on to the very first uh, image that you've selected. And they have to stay in order. And if you mess up the order, then you have to practically start all over again. Okay. I've been up since 4 this morning. And not, not just because of this, because I generally get up early. But, you know, it's a nice cool morning for a change. And I decided to work on I tried everything. I tried converting GIFs to PSD files with X in view, with FastStone Viewer, with the FastStone Resizer, etc., etc. And then putting them together, all I got was a series of images, and putting them together in Photoshop was just a real pain. It's time-consuming and really boring and prone to mistakes. And this is the easiest way i found to do it yet with GIMP. Now, when you open GIMP, it might look a little different. I had mine set up for painting. I usually do artwork in GIMP. I Really, to tell you the truth, I've never edited a photo in it. I had other, on here on the right-hand side, I had another set of palettes here that I closed up so you could see the layers panel and see the layers as they appeared. Now, first thing you have to do with GIMP, Edit Preferences and Display. Let me see where I found that one. Yeah, Transparency. Check Style. Okay, make sure it says light checks and check size is medium. And then check OK. Otherwise, the checks are real dark. Okay. Also, monitor resolution. I increased mine from 96 to 96 to 1. I just put a 1 in between. You can make it 200 if you'd like. Okay, and click OK. Now, uh, you're going to come up here to File. And it's got open and open as layers. Always choose the open as layers. And, okay, these are recently used. We're going to pretend. I'm just looking at pictures. That's how yours will open. And we don't want to look at all images. We just want to see GIFs. So come up here and change this to GIF images. So we don't have as many to look at. And I'm going to open... My little one animal, it's a little panda bear turning a somersault. And see, when I open it, I get 18 frames. Now, this is an animation. If you're opening a video that's been turned into a GIF, you may get more. I've made GIF, GIFs before that were like 60 and 70 frames. So depending on how many frames you get, that's, you'll have this long list of frames here. Now, first thing you have to do, come up here to Image in the main menu at the top. Hover on Mode. You'll see this is in, whoops. You'll see this is indexed color because it's a GIF. You want to click on RGB and change it to that RGB color space. Okay. Then you want to click on File again. And go all the way down here and click on Export. And you want Select, over here in the lower left, Select File Type. And you want to change it to a Photoshop image right there, which will be a PSD file. Okay, and it changes up here, you'll notice, to PSD file. And just click Export. And that's all there is to it. Now you want to close this one. If you open another one with this one still open, the next one appears right above it. So you get these huge files. I prefer to do them separately. So you can File, Close, or it has shortcut key, Control W. Close without saving. Then File, Open as Layers. And this time we want the little bird that's right below. Our little panda. Same thing. Come up here to Image, Mode. Once again, it's a GIF. It's indexed color. Click on RGB. File. Export, select file type in the lower left, scroll down to Photoshop image, 
and export and that's all there is to it okay let me do a control W clear that out close without saving and now I can close GIMP I'm going to open my Photoshop Elements 9 and I'm going to open my two files and scroll down 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 they're going to be those big old blue here's one here's the other one hold down the control key and they open now, I don't like them stuck up here glued to the top so I'm going to do window images float in window and just going to pull this one down so it's floating too. First thing you'll notice is that these two things I want to put together are different sizes. So rather than squish the bird, I'm going to stretch the panda a little. So click on the panda to highlight it. Come up here to image, resize, image size, and don't touch anything. Come up here to window in the main menu and click on it. At the bottom you'll see R2. Click on the bird file name and that changes, see, changes the panda to the bird. Now they'll fit. Now how do you move? Now I'm assuming you don't have animations, although you might. Let's say we wanted to put the bird following the panda. Come up here to the very top of the panda set of images, frames, layers. Click the top one. That means anything you add to it will come after this one. Click on the bird. Click on the first frame, scroll all the way up, hold down the shift key on your keyboard and click on the last frame and they all highlight. Right here in the layers panel, you'll see it looks like a hand. Click and drag this right onto the panda. And then the bird appears. Now you'll notice the bird's not in the right place. Use the arrow keys while the bird is all still highlighted. Move the bird up where it belongs. There you go. And then you have a bird following the panda. File, save for web. In this dialog on the left side here where it says animate, click it. Down here in the preview screen at the bottom, click it. And then you'll see the little panda turn to somersault. And then the bird sing. And the panda turn to somersault. And the bird sing again. Okay. Now, if you are happy with that, click OK. I thought it was a little slow, so I'm going to change my frame delay. And one, since I've already done this a couple times practicing, one is a little bit too fast. But see how it's in blue? That means you can type on it. So if point one is too fast and point two is too slow, just split the difference. I'm going to change it to point one five. Preview it again. Right now it's better. Now a little panda. Is going a little faster, but not too fast. And the little bird is singing good. Okay, let's close the browser if I like it. I can click OK and the regular save dialog comes up. Give it a place to be saved, which is not there, obviously. I'd save it in my pictures. Give it a new name. You don't want to overwrite your animal thing here. Make sure you give it a brand new name and then click save, which I'm not going to do right now. Okay, let's say, uh, let's go back. Oops, not that far back. I'm going to be the same size. Let's say I wanted to, I'm, I'm using GIFs that are made from videos, and I just wanted to take part of one and put it in part of another. Okay, let's say I want it right after, right before the bear turns, right there. Now let's go up a little farther. Okay, when the bear is on his little head, okay. I want to add just, I want to add my bird there. Or let's say I only want to add the first, hold down shift, first four frames. And just grab it, and pull it over to your bear. Use your arrow keys to move it over where it belongs. I've always found the arrow keys are a lot easier than trying to click and drag some of this stuff. That's why I use the arrow keys. There we go. And now we can save for web, animate, 
Change the frame rate to 0 0.15 preview. And the bird sings. Oops, I got the bird too high. Okay. That's why that's good. Come back here, cancel it because I made a mistake. Bring the bird down where he belongs. And you've got the, the boundaries are there so you can see the little squares so you know where the bird goes. Okay, there we go. Now let's file, save for web, click animate, change the frame rate to 0 0.15, and now preview. Bird sings right in the middle of the bear doing a somersault. Okay. And uh, basically, that's how you do it. It's just a whole lot easier than opening a whole series of like 24 or 36 or 40 images here in, in Elements and then having to use the Move tool to click and drag each one over. That takes a lot of time. Like I said, it, it, if you get out of order, it's just a nightmare. So changing, using GIMP to change them into PSD files is is a whole lot easier and that gives you time to be creative rather than time to just to just click and drag copies of a GIF file over. I hope this helps you.